Hey, how are you doing? On today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about vision boards, how you can make your own, how you can make it effective, my experiences with them, and how you yourself are able to frame your own future. I'm Harry Horrigan, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This is gonna help inspire and motivate you to be the best version of yourself. So what is a vision board? So a vision board is a collection of images that are brought together that I need to represent your dream life, your aspirations, your inspirations, your goals. What you want your life to be like, that's what you put on your vision board. And the whole idea of it is that you look at it every day until it manifests into reality. It should make you feel motivated and inspired for the future. People have some really crazy stories from vision boards, including myself. If you're looking at this vision board every single day and thinking, right, this is what I want. I wanna go here, here and here. I wanna make this person. I wanna do this. I wanna get this job. Then it's in your head every day. Then it's got no option to it coming to your life because you're not focusing on the negativity. You're focused on the positives and your dreams and your goals and things that excite you. And if you do this every day, then what do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna come into your life. If you focus on the positives, then that's what you're gonna get. If you focus on the negatives and things that you don't want in your life, that's what you're gonna get. So you decide which one do you wanna focus on? Which do you want in your life? How do you go about making one of these? Well, you can make either a physical one where you print pictures off or you get pictures together and stick them on like a, a piece of paper or you get a cardboard and pin them on or you can either do it digitally so you can do it on Photoshop or Canva or whatever program that you use. Um, it really just does depend what works for you. Personally, I do like to do a bit of both. I have in the past done it where I print stuff out and put it on and I have done it digitally. That's what I've done for this year. I've done it digitally just because it's a lot more easier personally for me and sometimes, I don't know, I've got to be in a very specific mood to cut and stick things and things. There is actually also a bunch of different sites that allow you to print pictures off for free and I think you just have to cover the delivery fee so you can look into that if you want to print them off or if you think it's a lot easier, just do it digitally. You can do it digitally and you can find a program that suits you. Like I said, I do mine on Photoshop or Canva. It depends, but yeah. Just find what works for you and do that. So I guess the first step is you need to figure out what you want because if you don't know what you want, then how can you make a vision board? So you need to know what you want, places where you want to go. Or if you don't know that, I suppose you can just make a, a board of quotes, like affirmations, quotes, positive energy that you can look at, or outfits and things that just inspire you really. But you really need to get clear on what you want and believe also that you can get it and that's not impossible to do this or get this or go there. And then I suppose the next step is to find pictures. So I would really suggest that you don't cut them out of magazines and things, as I find it's really hard to find pictures in these magazines and things that do resonate really with you. So I think it's really important to, you know, find these pictures on Instagram, on Pinterest, or wherever you find your pictures. Find them on there because you need to make sure that these pictures really speak to you, they excite you, they inspire you. So if you just get a, this picture out of a magazine of this random house, is that really going to inspire and motivate you to want your dream house? Mm, probably not. So you need to find a really specific image of what you want, what you want your house to look like, where you want it to be, like find these specific images and you can really find that through Instagram and Pinterest and these sites that you can actually just type in and find a really specific image. That's a really important one. You really need to find something that resonates with you. So this is a really important factor in vision boarding. You must not think, oh my God, I could never do that. I could never get that. Because this is the whole point in a vision board. If you want something on your vision board and you want it to come into your reality, then you must believe that you're able to have it. There's no good having something on your vision board and thinking, well, I'm never gonna be able to do that. I'm never gonna be able to accomplish that. I'm never gonna be able to travel to that place because if you don't believe it, then no one else will and then it will not happen. You wholeheartedly need to believe it, need to stay true to your vision. So whatever you put on your vision board, it's happening. It's already on the way. You've already asked the universe for it. Some of the best things in life do take time. So I really think that you've got to be patient and sometimes maybe these things might take a bit longer than expected that you've put on your vision board. However, I'm a strong believer in divine timing and if you have patience and trust the process and just trust that things are gonna come into your life exactly when and how they're meant to, then it's all good. All these things on your vision board are gonna come true and that's what you believe that's what's gonna happen. Making a vision board is what we need right now. We all need a bit of inspiration, motivation, 
to get us through this current climate in the world. So I think it's really good to do one. And I think it's a really good idea right now while we're in this lockdown to have something on your wall to remind you that's gonna excite, inspire and motivate you to the future. You know, we can see an end in sight to this. Life is gonna start getting back to normal. And this is gonna be a great thing to have on our wall or have on your screensaver, have on your laptop, desktop screensaver. However you wanna display your vision board, it's gonna inspire and motivate and excite us for our future. And we should be because, you know, things are going to get back to normal and we are going to get everything we want in life and you need to use your vision board as a visualization tool so when you look at it every day you need to think about you know the things that you're seeing on it you need to visualize yourself walking through the airport to travel to this destination you need to visualize yourself in this job sat in the chair of the job that you want you need to visualize all these things and act and start to become this person that's what it is it's a it's a vision of your future so you need to become this person so you need to start acting like one you need to start saving that money to, to get to that place you need to do all the steps that you can right now today in order for this to come into fruition so my main experiences with vision boards is I've never really felt like wow like really blown away I had like a bit of a moment where I was like wow this vision board really worked until about just over a year ago and it was when I moved back to London for my last year of university and I found an old vision board on my computer well I didn't even I suppose back then though I didn't really know what this vision board was I just made it as like a life affirmation I just made it as like a life goals visual thing. So I'll just briefly tell you what was on this vision board and it was to visit San Francisco in LA because I have always been such a big fan of the USA and I wanted to travel to these different places in America. And the second thing on there was to go to the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival in Palm Springs in California because I've always been so obsessed with the idea of Coachella. You know, being such an avid music and festival fan, I've always been like, I want to go there. One day I'm going to be there. In a few years, I'm going to be there. So every year, I remember I used to price it up and things to be like, one year, we're just going to go and we're gonna get tickets and we're just gonna go and then the last the, one of the next things was I wanted to live in London that was always a big life ambition of mine I really love London I love the creative and just the creative like fun feeling of the city and yeah that was the next thing and then the final thing was to meet a certain celebrity now I can tell you that when I was looking back on this vision board just last year all of these things had happened and they had happened by the time I was 18. Now, what was more crazy was the fact that when I made this, I remember making this and thinking that this was my life, this was my whole life vision board, meaning that if all of these came true, like that was my life, like, hoof, I'm set, I'm sorted, like what goes? However, I did all of this by the time I was 18, yet I thought this was gonna be like my life goals list. Which is quite crazy to me because I feel like I'm very hard on myself sometimes and thinking what I've achieved in life, you know, I could have done so much more already by, by my age and things. And then just looking back on this made me like step back and think, whoa, maybe I actually have done a lot than I like originally thought when I was, you know, younger. So this was this was a crazy moment for me because I was thinking, you know what, these vision boards, they do work, you know. If I can achieve all of that, my life goals list by the time I'm just 18, imagine what I could do if I made a vision board at the age of 22 that I'm at now, if I made it for the next five, 10 years. And then imagine coming back to that in five or 10 years and thinking, shit, it all came true, like it all, it all happened. So that's what I'm gonna do, that's what I'm making. I'm making a five year vision board, I'm making a 10 year vision board. And then how crazy will that be in five, 10 years to look back on that and thinking, shit, it fucking came true. And let me tell you that I visualize these things so much, like I visualize in so much depth living in London, going to Coachella, like making sure I do enough money to go to Coachella. I've actually been twice, and I've been to LA twice, and San Francisco, and all these things happened, and this celebrity, well you could say I've a lot more than met this celebrity. It was first name basis, like we were literally on first name basis at one point. She was like, hey Harry, like we literally when I walked in the room. I was talking about this on my podcast this week. If you're this obsessed over an idea, over something, if you are constantly thinking about it it's just in it excites you as well that's not that that's just such an important point that obviously you can't think about something so much unless it does excite you unless you want it so you've got to really know what excites you and what you want because 
then this is going to lead there. These vision boards, man, they work. Besides any limiting beliefs, what do you want to achieve? We are able to do so much and this vision board, this visualization technique is only going to help us get there. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. That is one of my favorite quotes and I literally live my life by that because it's true. Whatever we see in our mind, if we can think of a situation, it can happen in our real lives. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed for more content like this. Go smash the big like if you did enjoy the video. And if you did enjoy the video, I'm very certain that you will enjoy my podcast too. And I will link this in the description box down below. Thoughts become things, choose the good ones better days are coming.